pickup laydown cast is really at the heart of all overhead fly casting, so it's a really important skill to learn. Now, if you haven't watched our video on roll casting before, I'd suggest you give it a watch and practice it before trying this cast. It's going to translate really, really nicely into this technique. So, to start off, what is a pickup laydown cast? Well, it looks something like this. You start with that line on the water, you're going to pick it up and then lay it down. That's it. It's your basic overhead cast. Pick up, lay down. Very simple. Now, why the roll cast translates really nicely into this cast is that if you look at a roll cast, it's a slow draw back to this same point and then a forward cast versus a pickup lay down cast, which is back to the same point and then forward. It's just with a little more speed on the back cast to lift that line off the water. But you can see again, roll cast, we would stop at the same point back here, make a forward cast, pick up lay down, boom, same point, and then forward cast. So let's talk about how we're going to make this cast. First thing that you want to do is make sure you're set up for success. What that means is this. First off, body square to target. You're going to keep your rod tip low, like almost touching the water low. The line, you want to be pretty well straight. And the reason for this is that when you have a straight line and a low rod tip, as soon as I start pulling back, I'm putting speed into that line. I'm moving that line right away as soon as I start pulling back. If I have a bunch of slack, loose line down here, I'm going to spend the majority of my cast just gathering this slack before I actually start moving the line. Boom, it's there before I can actually start moving it. Until then, I'm just picking up slack. Watch the red leader on this practice rod. Watch the end of the red leader. It takes me until here before it moved. I spent well over half my casting stroke just gathering that slack. Same thing if your rod starts high. First off, I've just robbed myself of all this potential casting space here that I could use to be generating speed. So it's a wasted opportunity to create some speed on my line. But also, there is this big sagging piece of line, which is slack. It's not a tight line. And so, again, if you were to set this up, watch the red end piece of yarn here. With the rod starting high, it's not until here, closer to vertical, that I start moving that line. And so, again, now I've limited the amount of space I have to actually make my cast, and that's going to lead to all kinds of problems. To make it easy on yourself, rod tip low, line straight to start. Now, you may have some slack line from maybe a botched cast, or maybe the current washed it back to you. That's okay, you can fix that. There are two, basically, options to, to fix that. One is roll cast. A roll cast works okay with some slack. You can draw it back slowly, roll cast it out. Now I'm tight, I can make a cast. Or, if I had a little bit of slack out there, I could strip line in until I was tight as well, and then make my cast. Either way, just make sure that your line is straight, and your rod tip is low to start the cast. Now the first move in this cast is a slow lift. And the reason for this lift is to break the, the stick of the water on the surface tension of the water that the line has. If you try and rip this off really quickly, water is going to spray everywhere. It's not going to be an efficient cast. You need to break that tension on the surface of the water first. So you're going to start with a slow lift up until about eye level here. From here, again, you can think of the, the rod like a paintbrush, like we talked about with the roll cast, where it's a little flick up toward a target behind you. In this case, the target is the sky. Get this loop going high, high above your head. Imagine like you're trying to lift this line vertical, like straight up above your head. You won't achieve that, it will go back, but that's the, the mental image that you want to have straight up behind you, straight up to the sky. So, little lift, boom, flick up to the sky. Slow lift, up. So that's my back cast. Now before I can make my forward cast, I actually need to wait a split second before 
I can come forward. And that split second is to allow that line to actually straighten behind me so I can direct forward. It's much the same as what we were talking about to start the cast, where we wanted the straight line on the water. Well, now we need a straight line behind us before we can come forward. If we don't wait for it to straighten, when that loop is still forming like so, we're going to be trying to catch up to it and pull in all that slack before we can direct the line forward. So a non-stop, it looks something like this. You can see there's not much power behind that. Versus if I wait for the line to straighten so that I can start moving it right away on my forward cast, it goes forward with a lot more authority. And a lot less effort. You can see a difference. A forward cast is really the same motion that we're making with the paintbrush in the roll casting video. So again, imagine you got that paintbrush, you've got canvas in front of you, and you're trying to flick some paint off the end of it. That's all we're doing. It's the exact same cast as the roll cast on the forward cast. I can't emphasize that enough. It's the same cast. So recap it all together. Slow lift, flick up to the sky, pause, not this long, and then forward. That's all it is. Now, you'll notice on that forward cast when I go to lay it down, if I just stop high, the line recoils back at me. That line actually doesn't lay straight on the water. I rob myself some distance. It recoils back at me. And so to take that out, the last move in this cast is just to drop the rod tip after you've made that forward stop. Okay, so I'll get this straight again. Up, forward stop and it would be a drop. You can see it's almost all one motion. There's just a brief stop there. Let's see what that cast looks like on the water with the real rod. To start with sunglasses on. Got a bit of slack out here, so I'm just gonna give it a quick roll cast. Straighten that out. Rod tip low to start. Slow lift into a quick flick. Forward cast and then drop. And if you're trying to figure out the speed at which you should be lifting this with, there's a couple of little telltale signs if you're just off the mark a bit. If you lift too quick, you're going to get this big spray of water. Telltale sign it's too quick. It's going to take a ton of force to lift off, and it's quite noisy too. That's too fast. Too slow, and that line never gets off the water. It looks like you're setting up for a roll cast. Too slow and that line just kind of gathers toward you slowly. And now from here, I can't lift that line off the water. So you're looking for a medium speed that just smoothly peels that line off the water, like so. And your cue to go into that quick little flick is actually, if you watch the line, as it peels off the water, as soon as the end of the fly line, not the leader, but the fly line leaves the water, then you're clear to go into your full speed in the back cast. There, flick up. If you wait until that point, it will take almost no effort to actually lift this line off the water. So watch it, there. Hopefully that helps you out. Check out our other YouTube videos for more casting tips.